Hello, welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. I'm just getting over a bit of a cold, so my voice is a little bit raspy, so just bear with me. But I'm happy that you joined me today, and we're going to be talking about another express tool. Uh, shocking, another express tool. You know how much I love my express tools. Uh, this command actually grew up inside of AutoCAD 2012 and became a real life command, but you don't have to have 2012 to use it. In fact, I'm actually working in AutoCAD 2011 right now. So, what is this tool? This command is called ncopy and it copies nested objects from external references or a block. So let's say you have an XREF and you want to make a copy of some objects in there, but you don't want to bind it, you know, and you don't want to explode it or any of those things. You just want to grab some object, objects. That is where this command is going to come in really handy, okay? So let's go ahead and let's go to the Express Tools tab. As you can see on here, I'm going to drop down the very first panel for blocks and you'll see it's hiding under there. Copy nested objects. Alright, let's give it a try. So I'm actually going to zoom in on something I want to make a copy of. Let's kind of pan down over here and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select the objects that it wants me to copy. Now, the deal here is I can't do a window. You see if I try to do a window it ignores me. <laughs> I can't type in W. It only allows me to, s to select objects one at a time. And I'd like to tell you that that was improved in 2012, but it didn't go like that. So I'm going to go ahead and select these guys one at a time. I'm going to grab all the parts of my chair, and I got it. Hit it, enter. And you'll see that at this point in time, I can select the base point. I can also tell that I want to make multiple copies. So it works just like the copy command. So I'm actually just going to select the base point. I'm just going to make one copy just to kind of show you how that works. Very, very simple. Now that is an actual object that I can work with, all individual objects, so I should point out and I can do with it as I please. I mean, I suppose if I wanted to, I could turn that into a block if I wanted to. So very simple to work with, a little bit tedious because you have to grab everything individually. All right, so that is the way it works inside of AutoCAD 2011. It's pretty basic. You can also grab objects from inside of blocks, the same basic concept, okay, and copy. Let's take a look at AutoCAD 2012, all right? I'm actually gonna bounce over to AutoCAD 2012 for those of you who are overachievers and have already loaded that software, or for many of you, it just gives you something to look forward to. So you'll actually see that I can find end copy in the Express Tools underneath blocks. So it's still there. I'm not sure why it's still there, because <laughs> I told you it grew up and became a real life command. But as I mentioned to you, we can try it on in DGN files. And just to prove to you this is a DGN file, let me go ahead and select it, and you'll see, sure enough, if I go into properties, it's a DGN underlay, right? So we want to mine some of the data from the DGN underlay. So let's go about doing that. So you'll actually see if I go to the Home tab, you can find and copy also on the Home tab under Modify. It's this tool right here. So I'm going to use that one. That's the grown-up one. That's the new one. Don't use the old one. <laughs> so a little bit, just a couple of bit of differences in here. I'm going to zoom in basically, as I mentioned to you before, it's the same concept, right? You can only grab the objects one at a time. And I was kind of sad to find out that I, I couldn't do it any other way. It doesn't allow you to do windows, doesn't allow you to type in crossing, whatever the situation is, just calls me names. So I'm still stuck coming in here. Let's say I want to grab this particular stove from uh, inside of this DGN underlay. Now there are a lot of parts to this stove, so it's going to take me a little bit of time. I'm not going to probably grab the whole thing. We're going to leave that center section, the, the grill part. We're going to leave that one behind. And maybe we only need three burners. <laughs> because once again, you have to grab them all one at a time. You can see the objects that I've selected. So I'm going to go ahead and hit an enter. Same concept. I can do multiple. In fact, you can even do an array if you want to in here. That's an, a new option that's kind of been added into the basic copy command. I'm just going to use the basics. I'm just going to grab a displacement and zoom out. And then we'll put the oven someplace practical like in the backyard. <laughs> and obviously, I didn't grab the whole thing. But once again, same concept. To spend a little bit more time, you'd grab the entire object. You can make a block out of it if you want to. But the point is, is I can go inside my DGN underlay and I can access those objects, which I think is fantastic. So, so go ahead and try and copy. All right. As I said, you don't need 2012. You could have 2011 and many releases before that to use and copy as an express tool. And you can also grab and copy in AutoCAD 2012 from the home tab underneath modify. All right. So give it a try. I'll see you back here in two more weeks. Thanks for joining me.